Hi, welcome to The Virgo Show. I'm Sherry Hansen. Thanks for joining us today. And thank you, Iona Tenter, for having us into your home. I appreciate it. And sure. how are you doing today? Just fine. I'm good. Yeah, we're here out at Iona Tenter's on this cold winter day. And we walk in your house, and it's so nice and warm. you got the fire going, and, and it just feels really nice. It just warms you up. And, and what we're doing here is we're talking about this masterpiece that I see on the back wall. And so if there's not, anything that can warm you up, it's memories, right? Right. Right. Tell me a little bit about what you have on your wall here, Iona. Well, I, was, I taught school for 42 years. Um, uh, you started out in country school, yeah, didn't you? Maybe, maybe we should do that, go back to where the beginning of it. You, okay. were, you were a country school teacher. 21 years in the country, uh, Burgess area okay. and Dent area. What was your first school? Uh, 237. Okay. And then, uh, and then also I taught in Perm, second grade. Okay, and that was at the public school, at right? At the public school. Okay, for and what years, years would those have been? From 43, I started in 43, and, and 64 in the country. Okay. And then from 64 to whatever, I can't remember sure. the other day, okay. 85. 85. In, the, in Pearl. In the, and you retired in 1985. Right. And you, you were a second grade teacher during that time. Right. So you encountered a lot of children mm -hmm. over those number right. of years. and. And a lot of, to, um, especially back in the country schools, if for some reason I think, but anyway, a lot of holidays. They have your birthday, Christmas, Christmas Valentine's, Valentine's Day, and so children would give you gifts, yes, right? Yes, right. Okay. And, uh, so many then, of those gifts were boxes of beautiful handkerchiefs. Oh, look at this. This is just, this is just incredible to me. Mm -hmm. And so you would receive handkerchiefs from the children, and then so you, you wouldn't, I mean, and it was common back then. It's mm -hmm. not something you would use. No, well, I it, use them, but I saved them, you too. You saved them, mm -hmm. right, okay. Right. And so it wasn't too many years ago you had a friend over here. Uh, uh, Linda Hendrickson's friend came over, and we started talking about the handkerchiefs, and I brought them out and showed them to her. I had o o over 200 at least. Over 200? <laughs> yeah. And some of them, of course, is my grandmother's and mother's handkerchiefs, too. But I said, is there something we can do with these? Because I did not want to throw them away. Right. Now, this friend of yours, you, ha you have a friend, Linda Hendrickson, but she had a friend by the name of Sarah Hayes Sarah out of Hayes, Pelican. Uh -huh. okay. and Sarah Hayes is a quilter, and she's, she makes beautiful things. She you makes. can tell. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And uh, she said, uh, I'll take them home, and I'll see what I can do with them. Okay. She didn't have any idea, but she said, oh. So then I said, well, I'll send some other things home with you, too, I said. I uh, had Rick Rack for, from Grandma and, Rick Rack and, and my mother. Uh, you can take that box home, and you can take my button box home. Okay, and, look at there. And you can take, uh, years ago we used to get um, sugar and flour in these kind of sacks. They were, they oh, were, okay. you remember years ago when Mom used to make aprons out of those? Okay. They were printed, and I said, I'll send them home, and if you can use them, fine, if you can't, then so she took them home, and on Christmas Day 2008, she came with this big box, <laughs> and I opened it, and I couldn't believe my eyes. Oh, I this bet is you, what she and did. you had no idea. No idea. No, I, oh, it is, it is just beautiful. Yeah. I think what's really neat about this, Ione, you were, you were showing me this <laughs> yeah, here, too. I have to read that first. Um, well, she wants me to read it. What it says is, Crazy Quilt Hanky Memories. The hankies and embellishments used in this quilt were taken from the collection owned by Iona Tenter. Along with the hankies that Iona received as gifts from family, friends, and students, many of the hankies belonged to her mother and grandmother. This quilt was made as a means for Iona to display her hankies and take a walk down memory lane. <laughs> completed by Sarah Munstock Hayes, December of 2008. Mm -hmm. It is just gorgeous. Now, when you stop and look at these, Iona, do you um, can you actually put to mind some of the students too? Oh yes, oh. Well, all of them. That that that's mm -hmm. what I think would really be neat. Now we have one little spot down here that I think is just really cool. Mm -hmm. Now this is a removable one. You want to tell me about that, Hanky? Well, my, I gave that, or no, my, my grandmother gave me this when I was just a little girl. Oh, so that's, and, that's so that's over Sarah, eighty years old, isn't it? Yeah. Oh yes. Because oh. I'm 85, so. Okay, that is. <laughs> and what a unique way to do that. Uh -huh. to be I had able that to in that box I gave her, and she used that. And this that one I had given to my mother when I was a little girl, so she okay. made that one too. And so. And uh, she said these things, these little things were too precious to cut up, so she 
you know. wouldn't want to cut them up no. to piece them together. And yeah. uh, now, did she, was she able to fit all 200 into no, the No, no, I still have a little pack. You still have a little pack. <laughs> <laughs> Another little project down yeah. the road. Now, the quilt hanger, I know you wanted to mention that, that you're a good yeah. neighbor. Um, Dale yeah. Hendrickson made my quilt hanger for me. And so then we're standing in Iona's um, dining, room dining room of your home. And so I imagine you walk by this daily. Do you Every ever just stop? Every day, and I stop and look and, 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 and remember lots and lots of memories. Oh. Oh. And with each little hanky, there's a memory of a child. Right. And so with each child, that brings up new memories of things that they did mm -hmm. and, and just some characteristics well, about those children. <laughs> well, <laughs> I imagine, yeah, there would be good and bad on that, wouldn't there? Mm -hmm. and, and it just brings to mind whole families, I'm sure. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. That, that's really incredible. Yeah. Now tell me about what we've got here, Iona. Well, um, then, then Sarah took the quilt and, to different fairs, and she got uh, grand champion at Be uh, Becker County and first prize at Becker County. And she got grand champion at Barnesville and first prize at Pearl. And then mm -hmm. she took it to the Fargo quilt show. There were 180 quilts there. And she got, in her category, she got third prize. Oh, and so. And she made it, and I said to Sarah, these are yours, you should keep those. The, the, the ribbons, right? Yes. 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 And well, she definitely. said, no, they belong to, they go they with the quilt. They belong with the quilt. Okay. So then she made, she bought the little the shadow box. And she made this too. Oh, and then, I mean, how artistic. You can just tell oh, not yeah. only from the quilting um, aspect of it, but this, this person is very oh, artistic very as far as putting so. this together here. Mm -hmm. And she's did a, um, such a nice job with this, with displaying it and having your picture in there too. So this is even just a keepsake for you, right. isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. Well, just I mean, when you stop and think about the number of people that have been oh. through the quilt shows and stuff that have been able to see this too, mm -hmm. Have you ever had any of your students come up to you? Yes. You have. Oh. Mm -hmm. And then they've recognized some of the hankies that they've given you? That they didn't, but, but, but they, they know, remembered they giving remember. you hankies uh -huh. and stuff, too. And uh, the quilt, uh, quilt club from Dent came over one oh, day okay. and looked at it. And, and many, you know, there are others that... Uh, the others that have stopped in mm -hmm. and, and have taken a chance to look at the quilt and stuff. Well, it, um, no, I guess I have to ask you, Iona, do you like to quilt? No, I don't. I you don't. don't. You, you've never been a quilter. Mm, no. Okay. And so that's probably so. It was worked out very nicely to have a friend come in and be able to do that for you and be able to oh, have I it was here because so it's happy. not something you would have ever done yourself. Oh, probably. heavens no! And no. They would have gotten all thrown away yeah. when I went. Nobody well, else would want them. That's it. Oh, what a keepsake it is. <laughs> Well, Iona, I, I do have to say that, that you have a treasure on your wall. I guess I don't have to tell you that because no. you know that. No. But what, what hopefully it'll do is maybe it'll give somebody an idea out there who has something like this um, sitting around in their closet, too, mm -hmm. and, and not sure what to do with it. Yeah. All it takes is just a little imagination, mm -hmm. somebody with the ability to quilt, right. and... Um, and what a beautiful gift and keepsake you have here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you, Iona, for joining <laughs> us today on the Virgus Show. And you're um, you've, been, you've been part of Virgus your whole life. And so right. what better person to have on the Virgus Show than, than a native? Yeah. And um, I appreciate you joining us today. And, um, yeah, I, I guess I, there's not much more I can say than just look at the beautiful masterpiece. So you have yeah. a good day in Virgus. I have to say, Sherry, somebody oh. told me <laughs> that you're having a birthday this week. I am so I'm having a birthday. To say happy birthday oh, to Sherry. Oh, my oh, goodness. Yes, <laughs> okay. I, yes, I am. Well, thank I'm 50, yes. Yeah, going to be 50. Isn't that neat. Well, thank Sorry. you. Sorry. <laughs>